YouTube, it's Jambi here. So, um, nearly two months ago I went out with my beautiful girlfriend Katie and she accidentally ripped her tights and I said I would fix them, you know, two months ago. So uh, I'm doing that today. <laughs> um, I thought I'd show you guys also how to do it too. So these tights are sheer, which is unfortunate because it means there is literally no way I can make the seam invisible. But I can try to make it as unobtrusive as possible by darning it properly. To start with, you're going to need a darning egg or something that you can use as a darning egg. I used a tennis ball, but please don't use a tennis ball. You'll see why later. Um, some matching coloured thread, a needle, and you know, you just have to start sewing by the tear. In order to complete this project, you will need a needle and a thread and something you can use as a darning egg. Here, I'm using a tennis ball, but that's not a great idea, as you will see soon. So to start, what I'm doing is threading my needle and then sewing all around the edge of the hole. After you've sewn all the way around the edge, you need to slowly move back and forth across the hole using a matching coloured thread. Um, after you've finished going back and forth, you then need to do the exact same thing but perpendicular to the hole. This was really difficult with mine because my hole is very clearly an oblong shape. So you'll see how I managed that earlier by making the lines not completely perpendicular but very close. And here you can see why using a tennis ball is an absolutely terrible idea because the sewing caught the fibres and I had to cut them free. And for the final step, this is optional but will help it last longer, I'm applying some clear nail polish to the seam. You can also use fabric glue which I ended up using again later because my polish as you can see is kind of old and messed up. So that really wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, jam be out.